If you're anything like me, you're getting a bit sick of being cooped up inside with no golf whatsoever. And you're seeing lots of tips at the moment on practicing your golf at home, but how do you do that? I thought I would get outside and set up a few things to show you how you can do some practice at home. Now, if you do have some grass, you're obviously welcome to use your grass and do some short pitching. But if you don't want to mess up your grass or if you don't have any grass, you can use some backdoor mats. Now, what I've done here, because I happen to have some half moon shaped ones, is I've put two together and I've just set them up like this. Now, what that means is that I can either pitch standing next to it or I can actually stand on it and do the pitching which is ideal because you want to be on the same level um, if you possibly can. So any old do back door mat, Bunnings have them, they're about $20 a go. So you can even take that and pop it onto your grass, which is also gonna save your grass a little bit if you're planning to do a little bit of practice out in the backyard. So the first thing you'll need to do some pitching practice at home is an umbrella or a laundry basket. Either one of those things will be fine. And you'll turn it upside down and just leave it out there a few meters away from yourself. So that's a really good first one to do. On your mat, you'll stand ideally on the mat with the ball in the, in the, same, um, the same level. And then you're just gonna practice your pitching like so. So that's our first uh, little exercise that we can do, an umbrella or a laundry basket turned upside down. Then if you wanted to, you could make the umbrella a bit smaller. I do have a smaller umbrella. So I've got a smaller umbrella here now. And the reason this exercise is so good is because you're focusing on where you wanna land the ball. Quite often when we're chipping and pitching, we focus too much on the hole or the flag or where the pin is, and we end up nearly pitching it up there. And then of course it's gonna run over the back. So when you're pitching and chipping to judge your distance, ideally you wanna pick a landing spot anyway and then allow for some run. And that's why this is so good. You're focusing purely on your landing area. Ooh. And then you can even go smaller again. I've got a small laundry basket here. Ooh. I think that tree behind's gonna suffer a little bit. <laughs> and then what you can do is put all three of your targets out and rotate around the different targets and play some games with yourself, see how many in a row you can get. You might say to yourself, I'm gonna do three balls to each target and for the easiest target, I'm going to expect two out of three. For the next easiest, I'm gonna expect one out of three. And then for the third one, anything I get in is a bit of a bonus. It's just to you know, create your own games and you can make a bit of a fun um, session out of your pitching. Now, if you don't have any grass or even as much space as this, then I have an answer for that as well. And all you need is a chair and a towel. So you can see I've just put uh, a dining room chair out here and I've got an old beach towel. I'm just gonna drape that over the back. You do need to keep your mat quite close to the towel here because it's quite easy to hit it up and over the top. I would suggest no more loft than a pitching wedge for this shot. And then just easy little practicing into the back of your chair. And hopefully you won't hit the wooden part of the chair, which I've done a few times. <laughs> now, if you wanted to do a slightly bigger pitch, you can do that as well with a bigger, say, laundry or um, washing line. I've got one here, I'll show you that. Now, I know it looks like I've just gone and got my laundry or my 
my washing line and put it here, which I didn't do. I actually put an old brown towel, an old beach towel and an old sheet. You don't need to do that. You really only need one, one big layer. The sheet's probably enough because when the ball hits it, it does collapse quite well. Collapse as in, <laughs> not collapse, but I'll show you what I mean. Again, I've only got a pitching wedge here, so we can do quite a bit bigger swings now. And it just hits straight into that barrier there. Now I must just mention that I can't take any responsibility for anything that gets broken or any windows that are smashed as a result of you practicing your pitching in the backyard on my recommendation. So let's just get that out there right here and now. But this actually does work really quite well. I wouldn't suggest any more than your wedges. I know um, if any of you have got kids and they're anything like mine, a very good chance with this. Um, but um, generally speaking, this allows you to pretty much practice your pitching anywhere. You could even do it on a balcony, pretty much, because the, uh, the backdoor mat works really, really well. Um, and anything that you can hang something over. You could do this in a garage really well. You've got a little bit more room to swing as well. But again, don't break anything. <laughs> now just to finish up, there's loads of games and things that you can play um, with yourself or with a friend. Um, uh, there's one called Horse, which I've got the rules for on a PDF, so I will put a link up to that. And that's based on the free throw uh, basketball game. So you do that with a partner and you'll pick a spot to practice and you'll both play that shot and you build up a little bit of a tally that way. So um, loads of fun different um, games and things that you can play either with a partner or with this, with this on your own um, that just make it a little bit more interesting and make it a little bit more fun. And as I said before, that landing the ball into a spot is just brilliant for your judgment of distance. So it allows you to continue practicing properly rather than really just mucking around. So you are actually getting some decent practice because you're picking a landing spot. So you can try different clubs, try and not have too much loft because as I said, it might get up and out of the backyard. <laughs> okay, so enjoy your pitching at home. <laughs> <laughs>